Hi, welcome to Tutorial Spine. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of okra crop. Okra has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called bhindi. The botanical name of okra is Abil Moschus esculentus and it belongs to the family Malvaceae. Okra plant is a perennial semi woody fibrous herbaceous plant with an indeterminate growth habit. The plant grows 3 feet to 6 feet in height. The leaves are 10 to 20 centimeters long and are broad, large and alternate. It has palmate leaves with stipules. Let us now see the suitable climatic conditions for the cultivation of okra crop. Okra grows annually in temperate climate. It is cultivated throughout the tropical and warm temperate regions of the world. It reaches maturity in 50 to 65 days of its cultivation. Bhindi crop is susceptible to frost. The ideal temperature for the cultivation of Bhindi crop ranges from 25 degrees centigrade to 33 degrees centigrade. The seeds fail to germinate below 20 degree temperature. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation process of okra crop. The stages are land preparation, drip irrigation arrangement, seed sowing, weeding and intercultural operations, pest and disease management, flowering and fruit formation and harvesting. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of okra crop. Okra crop can be grown on a wide range of soil types. Although rich sandy loam soils are best suitable for the cultivation of okra crop. Plow the land 4 to 5 times to attain 10 to 20 cm depth into the soil. Chisel plow can be used to attain this depth. It is most important that the soil is well drained and is not clogged with water. The optimum soil temperature for germination is 24 degree centigrade to 32 degree centigrade. Apply farmyard manure, neem cake, superphosphate and furadon during the last plowing. It is slightly sensitive to excess soil acidity and the optimum soil pH range for okra is 6.0 to 7.0. Level the soil with clod crusher. Leveling will be followed by arranging drip irrigation system for the field. Let us now see how to arrange drip irrigation for the field. Drip irrigation saves water and fertilizer by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of plants either onto the soil surface or directly into the root zone through a network of valves, pipes, tubing and emitters. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but produces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a much more controlled irrigation method. It works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady fashion and controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. Let us now see the seed sowing and drip irrigated field. Seed treatment with fungicide bavistin powder reduces the chances of soil bone fungal infections. 3.5 to 5.5 kg of seeds are required per 1 hectare. Seeds are sown at a spacing of 25 into 60 centimeters. The seeds are dibbled into the soil up to a depth of 5 cm on both sides of the drip pipe. The seed rate 
generally varies with germination percentage, spacing and season. January to March and June to August are suitable months for seed sowing. Immediate irrigation after seed sowing will allow the seeds to germinate in 4 to 5 days. Along with okra crop, weeds also grow. Removal of weeds is an important practice in okra crop cultivation process. As okra is harvested over a long period, weed control happens to be an important cultural operation. Weeding, thinning and earthing up are a few important cultural operations in the cultivation process of okra crop. Earthing up in the rows should be done in rainy season crop. Application of herbicides for controlling weeds in okra has been found effective. Herbicide application should be integrated with one hand weeding on the 30th day after sowing. Spraying of weedicide flucoralin 1 to 2 liters per hectare effectively controls the weeds. Shallow rooted inter row cultivation and hand weeding minimizes the weeds in inter rows. The major pest attacks in okra crop can be caused by fruit borers, white fly, aphids, leaf hoppers, ash weevil, and nematode. To control fruit borers, pesticide azadirectin can be sprayed. To control white fly and aphids, spraying of dimethoate is suggested. To control leaf hoppers, pesticide thiamethoxam can be sprayed. Ash weevil can be controlled by the application of carbofuran 3G at 12 kgs per hectare. The major diseases that can attack okra crop are powdery mildew, damping off, fusarium wilt, cercospora leaf spot and yellow vein mosaic virus. To control powdery mildew, fungicide pavistin can be sprayed and damping off can be controlled by drenching the soil with dithane M45. To control fusarium, fungicide carathane can be sprayed and to control Cercospora leaf spot, spraying of fungicide Zinev is suggested. Removal and destruction of virus affected plants and planting of disease resistant varieties reduces the yellow wean mosaic virus disease incidence. Spray systematic insecticides like methyl dimeton or dimethoate at 2 milliliters per liter to kill the insect vector and white fly. We will now talk about the flowering and fruit formation stage in the cultivation process of okra crop. The flowers are 4 to 8 centimeters in diameter with 5 white to yellow petals often with a red or purple spot at the base of each petal. The flowers have pale yellow to thick yellow color and are funnel shaped and resemble hibiscus flowers with the throat of the flower in heavy maroon. The stalk which supports the flower is called a peduncle. The stalk which carries a cluster of flowers is a pedicle. The fruit is a capsule up to 18 cm long with pentagonal cross section containing numerous seeds. Mature pods burst open, releasing round, very hard, dark green or brown seeds. When one pod is harvested, another one grows in its place. Pods first appear at the base of the plant and grow upwards. Pods are ideal for harvesting when 10 to 12 centimeters long. 
they get very tough and stringy if allowed to stay on the plant. Large okra pods will tend to be tough and fibrous. The pods should be harvested every two days. Harvesting is the end stage in the cultivation process of okra plant. The okra plant reaches maturity in 50 to 65 days where the first harvest will be ready about two months after planting. Handling of okra should be done carefully because the pods get bruised easily. The plants can produce for 20 to 22 weeks. The plant grows and bears seed pods. The average yield varies from 5 to 7 tons per hectare in summer and 8 to 10 tons per hectare in the rainy season. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of okra crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorial on the cultivation process of a different crop. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.